Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be organizing my Erin Condren desktop drawers. So this holds pretty much all of my planner stickers and sticky notes and it's just turned into a mess because I have all the main items that I use for planning in here and since it's been so busy I've just been throwing stuff in here and so I wanted to just take a day and organize this out and clean this up and then I figured I'd just do a video on it to show y'all how I declutter and then how I organize this desktop drawer set. All right, so I first started off by taking out all of the drawers. So I generally do this whenever I clean. I just want to assess everything that I have to do. And then I started with the most organized drawer and worked my way to the messiest drawer. So in this case, it was the sticky notes. So I just wanted to kind of reconfigure the sticky notes and put them back to where they are. So I categorized them by shapes and then functionality and then put them in designated spots inside of the drawer so that way they're easier to find. After that, I moved on to the top drawer. The only thing that was messy in here was the fact that I was just throwing random stuff inside of this drawer. So I just took everything out and then kind of piled everything that was in the drawers um, to the side so that way if it needed to go back into a drawer, I had it categorized. And then after that, I just moved on to the third drawer. So this drawer just holds the larger stickers, sticker sheets, um, anything that doesn't really fit in a sticker album. And so I just lay them all in here and I just needed to reorganize them just a bit just so I could have my most used stickers up top and then lay them out so that I can see everything so I don't have to go back and reorganize this. And then after that drawer, I moved on to the one that needed the most organization that I just threw pretty much everything in. So this drawer holds all of my stickers that I use for planning and the main sticker album. And so whenever I was done with stickers, I just kept throwing them in there. Or I was throwing planner cards in there. And I also just threw random inserts in there at one point as well. So I just took everything out and started from scratch. And as you can see, I'm making just little piles again, um, just to kind of organize what was in that drawer. After everything was out of the drawer, I started to put everything back where it belonged. So most of these stickers, as I mentioned, just need to go back into my sticker album. So I started categorizing those by the setup of that sticker album. The sticker album is from Point and Hun, and I will have another video coming up where I reorganize this. Um, right now, I currently have it organized by shop, but I want to make it a little bit more functional. And so I'm going to do another video on that very soon for you guys so y'all can see how I've organized this. But um, whenever you use it, it's a great tool to organize your stickers. I've just been throwing things everywhere.
And now that everything was organized and back to the way it should be, I started putting things back in the top drawers. So what I've noticed with these desktop drawer sets is that you need to put the heavier um, item or drawer on the bottom and the lighter drawer up top um, to help preserve that shelf because it is a thick cardboard paper. So mine did start to tear. Um, so I highly recommend just putting the heavier drawer on the bottom. So in my, or in this case, that is the drawer that I'm currently working on. The only thing that I had left over from the piles were the date dots that don't really have a spot in this desktop drawer set. I am reorganizing my planner cart in another upcoming video. And so for now, I just put them in that bottom drawer since there was space. And then finally, we have the last drawer. So these are just all of my cloth and paper stickers. These two albums are actually lighter than the bottom drawer. So the, that is why those went up top. I also don't use those stickers as much, so it helps preserve the drawer. Other than that, these drawers are organized. So this is what it normally looks like from time to time. Um, I do just throw things in there whenever things get busy. And so I want to say like at least once every few months I have to go out and like completely organize it. So I hope you guys like this video and liked organizing with me. I know it's a little bit different, but if you like these types of videos, just let me know. Other than that, that is going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching.